Now the story of the man who might be the luckiest convicted murderer in New York, maybe in America. Daniel Floyd back in court this week after his previous conviction was thrown out by the state Supreme Court. Why? Because his mother couldn't get a seat in the courtroom, not for the trial, but for jury selection. This begs discussion by our legal panel today. Tom Kniff is a criminal defense attorney. Evangeline Gomez, a defense attorney. I can understand it perhaps if his mom couldn't be there for the trial, but this was jury selection. Why is that such a big deal, Tom? It's a big deal because a lot of defense attorneys will tell you that the most critical part of a trial is jury selection. A lot of trials are won and lost in jury selection. Beyond that, John, uh, if you look at the history of our jurisprudence, we have a tortured history uh, in America of criminal defendants being deprived a fair jury, being deprived a jury that reflects their race or ethnicity. Keep in mind, this individual is a black defendant. Uh, having a loved one, a friend in the courtroom who, who could observe any improprieties and then later perhaps serve as a witness on any appeal is a critically important to a defendant at this critical stage of the proceedings. Evangeline, you blame the judge here. Uh, yeah. Because this is the Constitution. It is this defendant, a criminal defendant's constitutional right to have a public trial per the Sixth, Sixth Amendment of the United States Constitution. And a judge is not there to rule, you know, at its discretion. They are there to enforce the Constitution. This was not something that was to be left for the judge to decide. Well, and that's what needs to be made clear. And overcrowding, our U.S. Supreme Court has found in Presley versus Georgia, 2010 decision, that overcrowding is not a reason to jettison the Sixth Amendment. But, but the judge apparently was alerted during the case that this was happening? Defense counsel made the objection, yes. Right, and that, that is part of the reason why we're here today, because that preserved it for appellate review, which is very important. The defense attorney making this objection, raising the protests of the judges, would allow them ultimately to bring this up on appeal. Well, spe speaking of protests, one of the jurors, Evangeline, is is apoplectic saying look we listened to this case we convicted the guy he he shot this other guy dead at a dice game and now he gets a, a new trial and 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 his conviction set aside exactly. they're, they're very upset exactly we'll blame it on the judge the judge is the one who made the wrong call here what could have occurred and i can't say this with certainty but maybe the judge overestimated the amount of evidence against the defendant and said hey any court reviews this is going to let me go but that's not the case when it comes to a criminal defendant's constitutional rights courses will courts will preserve it so now he's looking at either a new trial or the possibility of some kind of a plea deal. Now, he got 15 years to life on his first conviction. If you were his defense attorney, what would you say? Well, I don't know that they're going to offer him any kind of sweeter plea deal. I mean, again, this case is going up, has one up on appeal, and he's getting a new trial, not because of any defect in the evidence, but because of a defect in the way the trial was conducted and the fairness of the trial. If the evidence against him is truly that strong, the only result here is that unfortunately the taxpayers are going to have to foot the bill for a new trial. But it is a victory for the Sixth Amendment. Uh, you know, this, was, this is in our Bill of Rights. The founding fathers, when they passed the Constitution, saw the evils of secret trials and wanted to guard against it. But, but does, one side, does one side or the other benefit from you know, having a chance to redo the whole thing? Uh, this is an epic fail for the judge, and that's what's clear in this case. You're going to waste time, as was mentioned before, and uh, the only one that wins here is our U.S. Constitution. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's, it's a subtle win or a temporary win for the defense because it certainly can't get any worse for him. I mean, he was already convicted and he was looking at 15 to life. They're going to have to use the same evidence, the same right. witnesses. Uh, you just, you're not going to be able to make a motion to extend the record and a temporary add, reprieve. add yeah. um, <laughs> new witnesses and evidence. The, the victim in this case had a daughter who was four months old when her dad was killed. That little girl is now six years old. So this... The wheels of justice grind Why it's slow. important for judges to follow the, lo the law. Yeah. All right. Evangeline Gomez, Tom Kniff, thank you both. Thanks, John. Thank you. Arthel.